In this video, we will talk about the sharing and commenting options more in depth uh, by using an actual live project which uh, I worked uh, some time ago. So let's go on uh, a screen uh, and uh, let's see what I did for this client. So initially, when I uploaded all the screens uh, in uh, Envision, I shared the project with them uh, with uh, this uh, link over here. And basically, I invited them via email. And uh, let's actually go over some of the more advanced settings uh, in uh, the um, share options. So the first one is uh, allow commenting on screens. That means that if this uh, toggle is active, uh, the person who, whom you're going to share this uh, URL with uh, will be able to make comments on the screens. The second option, um, allow access to all screens in prototype. This basically will allow them to see all of the screens. However, if you don't want to show them all of the screens, you can simply um, toggle off this and uh, they will only be able to see a set of screens. Now, this is one is interesting because it's the password protector. And basically, this allows you to set a password and um, this uh, is something that I definitely recommend if you're having any sorts of uh, NDAs or agreements in which uh, you cannot show the projects uh, um, around. So definitely, uh, this is something that I highly suggest and uh, that I personally use all the time in order to keep uh, my clients' projects confidential. So um, that being said, this, this one is the start, the shared link at, and basically um, this means that if you share the, the URL, they're going to see the first link at the screen that you decide over here. So here we have all the screens from the project and uh, in this case, uh, uh, product is selected. So whenever someone opens this URL, they're going to see the product screen first. This uh, option over here, it's uh, for the hotspots and uh, basically uh, it uh, enables the hotspots which allow for interaction and uh, you know the prototyping features of uh, Envision. And um, this one over here is the prevent hotspot hinting. So basically once you hover over some of the hotspots, uh, um, you, you will have uh, some hints from Envision that that is actually an, a hotspot so that uh, clients and uh, users are uh, aware of this. And uh, basically, uh, by toggling off this option, uh, this, uh, um, they, they won't receive this uh, hint. And also the last one is uh, the require user identification, which uh, is pretty much self-explanatory. I don't use it often, uh, but yeah, that's just something that uh, um, is there. Another thing that I wanted to discuss in this video is the comment modes, because um, as you can see from uh, the overall uh, uh, project, I can uh, simply, I will receive a notification whenever a client makes a comment and uh, that it will be via email. And uh, on top of that, once I log in to this view, I'm going to see a, a dot over here on the, on the top right. Um, and basically, I can also go inside the screen, go under comment mode on the bottom, and I can see all the comments that uh, my client made. Uh, and uh, basically, I can literally through, link, um, go through the screen and uh, see all the comments. However, one thing that I really like doing is uh, going back to the main projects uh, area and uh, go on uh, this option over here on the top header, uh, which is comments. And basically, this allows me to see all of the comments uh, in uh, one single screen area. And once I click on it, I will be able to see all of the uh, projects and uh, the comments here on uh, the left. Uh, and I can simply go through them one by one. So this is definitely something that is uh, really useful. And um, I re really highly suggest you to uh, look into when uh, going through comments, especially if you're having a lot of comments uh, in uh, different screens uh, and uh, that uh, have been made at different times. It can really be a huge uh, time saver and uh, make you 100% sure that you're not going to miss uh, any comments. So this is it for this video. If you have any questions, drop a comment below and I'll see you in the next video.